Israel is on the verge of fighting a war on two fronts. Deadly clashes are now happening in the north of the country near Lebanon, even as defense forces mount an enormous military retaliation against Gaza in the south. Hamas claims to have as many as 150 hostages. It says it will start executing civilians if Israel bombs Palestinian homes. Some of those hostages are believed to be American. Already 11 Americans are known to have been murdered since the weekend attack. ABC's Justin Finch is joining us in D.C. with the latest. Good morning. Tim, good morning. Israel continuing its airstrikes overnight. And in a televised address, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel is now at war for its existence and that this Hamas strike is only just starting. This morning, Israel at war. Israel Defense Forces releasing new videos showing its airstrikes. The IDF says they've taken out more than 1,000 targets across Gaza as it hunts down Hamas. ABC's Ian Panel there on the ground as Israel's military moves south towards Gaza in what could be a step towards a ground invasion. These are armored personnel carriers essentially heading up towards the front line. We're seeing a lot of men, a lot of munitions, and a lot of movement. This is starting to look really like a country at war. Israel also imposing a Gaza siege, blocking food, water, and utilities into the Palestinian territory. Civilians in Gaza now scrambling to save survivors trapped beneath rubble and caught in the crossfire. Now coming to light, evidence the Israel attack have been months in the making. Video showing fighters training on motorized paragliders practicing their surprise arrival into Israel. The family of 19-year-old Karina Ashayev worried for her safety after videos circulated online of her being taken into Gaza. She, wants her, she just wants her to come home back safe and sound. Hamas now claims to have more than 100 hostages and is threatening to execute a civilian hostage whenever Israel targets Gaza civilians without warning. A U.S. official tells ABC News the U.S. is providing intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance support to Israel's special operations forces in its efforts to learn more about the status of those hostages. And President Biden is set to give remarks later today about the war in Israel. Meantime, the U.S. continues to surge military resources, including an aircraft carrier and fighter jets. In Washington, Justin Finch, Channel 6 Action News. Christy, back to you.